I do a quick video because I got a lot of questions on my last video about how I passed the RD exam and I think that video was just way too long so I'm just gonna make this really quick and talk about the format of the RD exam, the testing facility, and just kind of like how it works. And if you hear a sound in the background, it's a snow day, so I have neighbors, you know, shoveling and snow plowing, I guess. Um, but the first question that I got was talking about the paper format or the paper pattern. And um, the test is actually not on paper, it's through the computer. It's a standardized test. However, the most important thing to know for me when I took the test was that you cannot go back and check your answers. So yes, there's a certain amount of questions on the test. I, I believe it's like 120, 25, and it can go up to 145. Once you press next or submit your answer, you can't go back. So I think that's how it is for the NCLEX too. That's something to note. You wanna make sure you pick your best answer and then uh, you can't go back, so <laughs> make sure it's what you want to pick. When I was taking the ACT uh, to get into college, I remember everyone saying try to keep it to one minute per question, and that was kind of what I tried to do with the exam. So as I mentioned, it's 125 questions minimum, and then it can go to 145 questions. Uh, there is kind of like a lot of theories around this exam, like, oh, if you're about to fail, you're going to get um, 145 questions. I've heard several things, but I mean, it makes sense. Sometimes, let's say you're close to not passing at a, up to a question 125, they may give you 20 more questions to see if you are uh, proficient enough in that domain to pass the exam. Honestly, it's so weird. All three times that I took the exam, I had 145 questions, so um, take it with a grain of salt. I always prepared to have 145 questions in my exam. I think everyone should too. Um, I had one friend who took it once and she got 125 questions. She thought she was failing the whole time. So who knows, the RD exam's kind of a mystery with its algorithm and what questions you get. Speaking of questions, um, I have seen the same question on a separate exam. For instance, if I had a question about X, Y, Z on my first exam, I think I saw it the same similar question on my third time taking the exam about question X, Y, Z. Also, the repeating of questions, my friend who took it, she took it once, but she thought in that one sitting of her exam that she saw the same question pop up again, like later on in her exam. So it, it's kind of weird. Your exam questions kind of change depending on how you answer questions. And that's so uh, vague, <laughs> but basically let's say you answer a question correctly about X again. I'm not gonna say any topics just to be safe. Whether or not you get that question right, they could ask you a question about X again to make sure you know it, or they could not ask you a question about X again because they know that you know it, if that makes sense. I've heard both because no one knows the real answer, but they can ask you a lot of questions about one topic to make sure you know it, and then once you know it, they'll stop kind of thing. I've experienced both. Like, if I had a question involving math, I had another question with the same math that needs to be involved and I'm like oh my gosh did I fail the question before or are they just making sure I know it so you just kind of kind of not freak out about the format um, it's super hard not to but just know that no one knows the answers uh, to how the algorithm works of the exam or no one knows the answers to whether well no one knows the answers to what the uh, questions mean like if you keep getting the same question about one topic, does that mean you failed before? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the paper, or not paper pattern, but like the format of the exam that I can speak about. Also, as far as testing facilities go, you have to have your test taken at a Pearson facility or a Pearson approved facility. With COVID, um, because I was eligible to take the test in like May, 
um, keep in mind that some facilities might be canceled or they have to reschedule exams. A lot of people call their facility ahead of time just to double check that their test is confirmed for their selected date. When you schedule your test, make sure you go to that facility maybe like a week before or a couple of days before so you know where it's at. I had to take my first exam probably like 30, 40 minutes away and I drove there like the weekend before because I was freaking out and I haven't been to that part of town before. I've been to that area but not exactly where that facility is. So it just really helped my peace of mind to know, oh, excuse me, where it was at. Now that's testing facility. Also with COVID, yes, I had to wear the face masks, um, but you, every facility is different, but you will um, be seated like every other person or something, or you could have the room to yourself. The first time I took the test during COVID, it was like, a smallish room but there was a selected amount of seats with a chair in between us the second and third time i took the exam um it was at a pearson approved facility not a pearson facility like the first time i took the exam and i actually had the room to myself i don't think it was that busy so just uh keep that in mind you may have other people taking tests in there with you they probably won't be taking the rd exam or they will um they could be taking like a dental exam or the NCLEX or something. Um, so that's just something to know. I think I covered everything. I want to make this video short because I feel like if it's too long, I babble and things get confusing. But if you have any more questions, let me know. I think I want to redo the video I did before about how I passed the exam. But um, yeah, that's kind of the formatting of the test. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye. Hi, I'm editing. I forgot to mention though, when you do take the exam, you get these kind of like white paper sheets to kind of scratch, like scratch paper. You get scratch paper, but it's kind of um, like a whiteboard, but it does not erase your markings. So it's kind of like grid paper that's laminated kind of, and you get this uh, Sharpie. It's kind of like a precise V5 pen and you can just write on it, um, write your equations or whatever. Uh, most people um, get that in the beginning of the exam and you also have a calculator provided for you on the computer, but a lot of people should know that they won't give you a handheld calculator unless you ask for one. So I would definitely ask for 